Woo-wee! So this has been a, a pretty long journey for me here, guys. This is Pandemonium on Veteran. Uh, I'm just gonna, gonna let you guys know that I, I don't think you're gonna be able to follow this video. I think it's actually too difficult for, uh, for you to just be like, Oh, I'm just gonna beat it one and done, no problem. Uh, you know, I do believe that there's probably a better way to do it. You could probably be do better than what I did, and you might be able to do it in a different way, in a more efficient way. But this is the way I did it, and I got it beaten, so I'm happy with that. All right. I am going to be using a Steam Hero, which is a free Hero on Steam, but if you're playing on mobile, it might not be a free Hero for you, so I apologize for that. But basically, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a Tesla Coil on the left side. We're going to build another Tesla Coil as soon as we possibly can on the right as well, and use our Reign of Fires kind of to just delete all of the first few waves. So we're going to go to Wave 3 very, very early over here. Now, I've also got Hacksaw up in the top up there. You might think this is sort of stupid. Just leave him up there, just hack it away at one single guy, but you don't realize is I'm leveling him up. We want to get him up to level 4 as soon as we possibly can. Once he gets up to level 4, he ends up getting an insta-kill, and that's going to be the way that we win this challenge on Veteran. Alright? So, if you're playing on normal, this should probably be a lot easier for you guys than it is for me. Uh, this probably will work for you in a very similar way, and probably an easier way than what I did. But anyways, uh, finish these last few guys in the bottom there, send out wave uh, 3 fairly soon. If you can, every extra gold is going to help you here, but make sure you're reading what's coming out, guys. Sometimes it's easy to read what's coming out and just sort of memorize what's going on, you know? Even if you got to replay this thing a couple extra times over here. This is going to take us a full, like, 18 and a half minutes to beat this one, so uh, it's going to be pretty difficult. And then the boss is actually the hardest part for me, man. So here we go, another perfect rain of fire right there. Knock him down a notch, take him down, get rid of these big boys right there. And we got Corky all ready to go, even surviving over here. Now, with any extra money that you get after you get your two testicles, I would start building a lot of archer towers down the bottom here. Um, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've tried doing the mages with the golems, and I found them to not work as well as I wanted them to do. So, um, I'm chilling with uh, the archer towers down here, especially for the Gualamons. We're going to be coming out around, around level uh, wave 10 or so. There we go. Okay, so we got some more uh, more of these big boy flying units coming in. You might think, oh crap, Chris, you built all artillery. You're screwed. The test coils can attack air units. Woo! Which is very, very helpful, guys. So... Uh, here we go. Now, if you notice, the arch tower in the bottom here is actually probably one of the most important arch towers for me because you can reach over into a lot of different areas, especially when you get up to a ranger's fort, which is going to be my main, um, my main tower that I'm going to get. And then a rain of fire, again, a perfect rain of fire over here to get rid of these dogs, and of course, right away, man, set up that next wave. Uh, but we got demon legions coming out this time around, which is something that we definitely have to watch out for. So what you want to do is you actually want to not use Corky here. Watch this. Watch this sexy action right here, guys. Not use Corky until you see this Legion, and then you're gonna go zizzle zap, and you burn him into a you cr crush him into a nothingness. A dust. That's all he's got left. But you needed to be level 4 to make that happen. Alright? That's very important. Level 4 with Corky. I think his name's Corky, right? Corky? What's his name? It's Corky in League of Legends. I don't know what it is in this game. It just reminds me of him. He looks the exact freaking same, doesn't he? All right, now we got another one coming out here, though. So you can you can rain a fire this one if you want to, but I would recommend instead just waiting for your insta kill to come back and then insta killing this guy. He should be able to die before uh, he ends up making a second one himself. And then for the other one, you rain a fire over here, and then boom, boom, all three legions gone. Because those guys are the hard part for this level. Uh, wave five is probably the most difficult. I can't say it's the most difficult wave in the game, but one of the one of the most difficult waves in the game. All right, so we got a Musketeer Garrison because he can reach pretty much everywhere over here. But for the most of the rest of these guys, um, we're going to mix it up just a little bit. We're going to go mostly just Archer Towers. Just get Archer Towers. All right, that's all you need to do. Build them up, break them down, break down some barriers, and uh, throw some spears, man. So we got a couple of these uh, these guys coming up. As long as you get in range of the Tesla Coils, you're going to annihilate these guys. So as usual, every round, no matter what, make sure you're using your Reign of Fire, even if you don't absolutely need it, just so you can send out the next wave even earlier and have everybody like ready to go. Uh, it's even nicer if you use the Reign of Fire like right before you send out the next wave because uh, you know for sure that you're going to get it back, you know, especially if you do it really quickly. Anyways, here we go. I think we're uh, basically ready to go as long as we know what's coming out here. We got three legions coming out of the middle over here this time. Which, again, watch out for the legions. The legions are the things that are going to kill you the most. Because right now I have, excuse me, zero magic. Which they're weak against magic. So we're going to finally get our magic towers over here. This is going to be getting us ready for wave 10. Which is going to have two Cerberi coming in here, alright? 
I don't know if that is the correct plural form, Cerberi, but we're, we're going with it. Alright, so anyways, uh, Corky, you can continue to attack if you want to, but just again, be a little wary that if you do end up attacking for too long, you might end up insta-killing. With the other two guys that come out at the same time, rain of fire, baby. Whoop, 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 whoop. Kill them both, take them out, take them down a notch, and we're ready to go. Booyah, y'all, baby. And then just start buying some stuff. Uh, it, it's, it's an either way kind of thing. Like, what do you want to get? You want to get the Ranger Tower or the Musketeer Garrison? Be my guest with whatever you want to get, man. Um, I like the Musketeer Garrison in the middle because he can reach pretty much everywhere. But for the other ones, you don't necessarily need them to reach everywhere. Some more flying guys coming in here. Now, I also want to say that I actually forgot to commentate this right away. And now I have a... Uh, I had this video for a really, really long time, and I almost deleted it, like, five times. Because I just kept forgetting and forgetting and forgetting and putting it off and not commentating this video. Because this is a post-commentary, by the way, guys. I played it... I honestly played this this level for, like, eight hours, at least, of my time. Just to beat this. Just to put it on the YouTubes. Just to say that I know that I've finally done it. I've beaten this map on Veteran. The hardest difficulty. The hardest map, I think, in the game. And I've done it. So I feel accomplished here, guys. Anyways, like I said, start spending a little bit more, more of your money on magic. Because at this point, you're going to have to deal with Cerberi on level 10. And not just one, but two of them. They both have 6,000 health, I think. If I remember correctly, they have 6,000 health. Um, so just rain of fire when you get the chance. Kill a couple guys. Whatever helps you out, man. We've got a bunch of Arch Towers over here. So they're going to definitely be helpful against um, the random guys coming out over here. And just, for sure, check it out. See what's... Uh, See what's coming on this next wave over here, and just make sure none of these wolves are going to run through, because you don't want to lose a single life here, if possible. Realistically, I just don't want to lose three lives, as long as you get three stars, I'm happy. And I've already beat this on normal, so this veteran thing is just sort of my own personal, like, thing I want to do. So here we go, we got the Gualamons coming in with a couple, uh, random Flareons. Flareons don't really matter much. Gualamons are kind of the big, big boys of the group here. They've got a lot of health. So with Corky, again, 3,000 health, if you can insta-kill that crap, oh, yeah, yeah, baby, do it! Boom, 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 3,000! down the drain, like that. I know he's slow, I know he sucks in a lot of situations, but that insta-kill is quite, quite delicious, my friends. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, Gualamons do have magic resistance, so you need to make sure that they get in range of your archer towers as soon as you possibly can. So, I don't know why I went for three musketeers on the right and two ranger towers on the left. Honestly, it was just sort of a whatever kind of thing, just okay, I guess we're buying more musketeer towers. Julio. If you want to even it out and do like two ranger towers on the top and three musketeer towers on the bottom, that's fine by me. Uh, the only nice thing about the musketeer towers is they do have the headshots and or the insta-kills that can happen every once in a while, which a lot of people probably like quite a bit. I don't mind having some insta-kills on my team. Okay. Uh, wave 9, though. Wave 10 is the big boy. Wave 10 is the Cerberi. So what you can do is just get ready for him. But you've also got legions coming in here, too. So you're going to have to use Corky super-duper efficiently here, guys. Um, get ready for it. Let him heal up. Let him heal up. It's okay. It's okay to wait a little bit. Wait it out. Uh, we're going to go for uh, high-level magic. So we've got two arcane mages. I also want more artillery, to be honest. More Tesla coils. The better, more Tesla coils you got, the happier you're going to be. But anyways, here's the server eye. But don't... Don't run Corky over there and think that that's going to be a good idea. That's going to be a bad idea. You want to take down these legions first. So get Corky ready to go. Uh, get ready to insta-kill this guy. Don't let him uh, Don't let him get his charge going on you. We take those guys down right as soon as they walk in. As soon as they walk in. Keep this guy inside of the range of your magic tower for as long as you possibly can. Corky's pretty tanky, so he can end up doing this for a long time. Um... We start buying our next test the cool and everything. We can rain a fire this guy pretty early, by the way. Not wait until the end or anything like that, but just do it pretty early because for the next guy, um, we might be able to get it back in time. Again, which is pretty cool. So here we go. It's going, it's going, and it's gone, baby. We take him down. We got another one of these legions coming in, so we're going to insta kill this guy. Come on, let's get the insta kill going. Boom. Take him down. We got another Cerberi coming in on the right side here. We need to make sure we get Corky back in action so we can start healing up over here, guys. So we're going to buy another. A uh, uh, couple cannons basically everywhere. They're gonna be testicles coils everywhere. He's healed up now. We're ready to go. Keep him inside of the range of the magic, inside of the range of testicle coil, and you're gonna be happy. Now this time we go around. We got two musketeer towers that can also hurt this guy, which is gonna help out a lot. Yes, 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 indeed. And just tank it out, wait it out. It's okay. You know, early gold is nice, but not if you're gonna lose the game for early gold. That's the way I like to put it. 
And uh, whenever you need to, you can always just push your reinforcements in the way and move, uh, move your hero out of the way for a second. Uh, you can rain a fire again if you want to, if you need it. You know, I mean, right now is basically the perfect time to, to do it if we needed it. But it looks like we don't need it, so we can let our hero heal up and then just get ready for the next wave. Nice. Two Cerberi down the drain. But we got legions coming out. We got a bunch of legions. I actually should have looked at what's coming out for the next wave, but I didn't. So this is going to hurt us a lot here, guys. I messed up, all right? I realize that. I have messed up. So instead of killing the Legion, we're just walking around, just back and forth, trying to get to where we want to be. The Legion's going to end up respawning multiple people. And at this point, its kill isn't even really worth it. So, uh, yeah, we screwed up. Let's just say that much. We definitely screwed up here. But we do have a pretty good amount of monies that we can spend on Tesla coils, which is great for all these grouped guys coming in here. So you get a couple extra, uh, you know, triple shots and quadra shots, and you should actually be able to take down the Legions and all the guys inside as well. But be a little careful. Legions are still nothing to mess around with, man. Oh, heck no. They are still difficult lofos to deal with. So our hero dies, but he will be. He will come back. He will regain. And we get some teleport action going on over here. Kind of forgot I got that thing. Okay, so we've got Gualamons kind of lining up. Now, this was a little bit pesky for me. I will admit to you guys that this was probably the hardest part for me, mostly because I didn't end up insta-killing that Legion right from the get-go. So we got to take these Gualamons down. Alright, it's going to take a little while. It's a little bit of luck based here, because you need to make sure you get as many headshots as you possibly can and everything. But we do take them all down, and now we got easy peasy lemon squeezy wave 12 right here. Just crappy low level guys. And guess what I got, guys? Tons of test coils to burst these guys down. So this is just the chill wave. It's the chill wave where you get tons and tons and tons and tons of monies. Yes, indeed. Boy, do I love me some monies, by the way. Uh, each one of these guys, I think, gives you 20 gold. So, add that all up, man, and you get a big chunk of monies. And you can buy whatever the heck you want, but I recommend more Tesla Coils. Not because it's necessarily going to be good against just this wave, but because it's going to be good against every future wave as well. Because, believe it or not, magic is not the best way to take down legions. The best way to take down legions is Tesla Coils. spam a ram -a ding dong those Tesla Coils. It is my favorite tower in the game, because it is the best tower in the game. That's just the way I roll. All right. There's another test of cool. We got six of them, baby. Three on the left, three on the right. Always try and keep them even if you can. And basically, I, I like the right-sided upgrade the most. If you're going to spl splurge, get all six test coils up to the right-sided upgrade first, no matter what. Then you can decide if you want to go for the extra left-sided upgrade as well. But usually I don't. Uh, you know, usually I think that the money just isn't worth it. Basically, it's like an, an automatic, non-stop... Uh slow electricity burn on these guys. But it's not really even worth it. So anyways, I'm realizing that, like, honestly, stunning these guys is actually even harming me a little bit. Like, I, sh I probably shouldn't be doing this. By stunning these guys, all I'm really doing is keeping them from getting to my good towers to, to kill them. So, I don't really know what I'm doing. I guess stunning them for a little bit allows me to rain a fire them in a reasonable fashion. But even then, I'm just like, well, I don't know. I don't know. So we go for another uh, archer tower over here because that's where this pandemonium devil mofo is going to come out against this. He's got uh, 6,666 health for his first form. And I believe he also has 6,666 for his second form. Scorky died. All right. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. Get some headshots in here. Insta kill some peeps, you know? We got big boys coming out right here. Now, just flying units. Another fairly easy wave. Not a big deal. Flying units, no problem for me. You know, we got Tesla coils. Demon imps, don't matter. Demon hounds, whatevs. Flare Flareons, <laughs> at this point in the game, just get out of my way. Little baby girls over here, man, they got nothing on me. It's another fairly easy wave, guys. It's getting uh, it's getting pretty pretty amazing over here, actually. You're realizing how amazing Chris's defense is for the long term. So we're going to go for another one of these Musketeer Garrisons. That's going to allow us to hit uh, guys all across the board here, including the boss. Which, again, is going to be the hardest part for us in this video. I've gotten to the boss uh, three or four times before this video when I finally actually beat him with an efficient way to stall him. I'm going to show you guys the most efficient way to stall him in just a minute here, but just realize that it's not going to be easy. It's going to require some micro. It's going to be every, I believe, sixth hit, he's going to smush all your guys with a grouped insta-kill attack. So what you need to do is let him smash you for five hits, move out of the way for the sixth, use your reinforcements or random crappy barracks guys or whatever, then move your hero back in on the action. 
Uh, if you need to, you can use barracks and stuff like that, but just make sure you're doing a good job. Here we go, we got a bunch of legions coming out. We're gonna rain of fire some of these guys. The, the earlier you kill the legions, the better you are off. That's the way it works, guys. The faster you kill them, the less get uh, grouped up over here, and the faster you can basically take these guys down. Now, on the right side, we did a pretty good rain of fire. There's still a couple guys left over and everything, but it's not going to be uh, the death of us or anything. Left side, we got him in the range of the testicle and the magic tower, so I'm feeling pretty good at this point. I got all first tier uh, uh, ride the lightnings at this point, and now I'm like, you know what? Why not? We got the money. I don't really know what to spend it on. I'll get some more ride the lightnings. Because keep in mind, when the boss comes out, he not only do you have to kill the boss, uh, unlike a lot of other areas where you just kill the boss and the game is over, you have to kill all the rest of the people on the screen as well. And here we go, guys. Wave 16. Here it is. The boss. The big boy. So he's going to go smush. One, two, three, four, five. And then you want to put some people in the way. Put some reinforcements. Let them smush them. And then you put them back in and you let them stall again. One, two, three, four, five, and then dodge out of the way, man. You gotta count this out. Do it out loud if you need to. Let him smush. Let him smush. Let him do some smush smush over there. If possible, let your hero heal up every single time in between. One, two. Now keep in mind, you gotta do the second form too, I think. I'm pretty sure he's a second form. I can't remember now. Smush. All right. Can we take, maybe he doesn't have a second form. I maybe I lied. But we still got to take him down over here, guys. We got one, two, three, four, five. Dodge him. Let this guy get back in action. We still got the rain of fire left. We're going to rain of fire the legion, though. Not the boss, believe it or not. That's what you got to do here, guys. We're going to sell this. We're going to get a barracks over here to stall for as long as we possibly can. But it looks like we will hopefully... Take him down right here. Get some boys in there. And we do. We blast him into smithereens. There was no second form, I lied. As I was saying, I, I haven't played this in a while. And what you need to do, guys, you got a billion freaking dollars over here. Spend it on Tesla coils with the right-sided upgrade. This is extremely important. Sell whatever you need to. Whatever money you've got here, man, buy it up. Get the Tesla coils up the freaking wazoo. First time I tried Billions of Magic, it failed. Of course, the more you get them up toward the top, the better you're going to be, because you want to kill these guys quickly, right? So there we go. We're finally running out of money. We're going to get rid of this guy as well and get another test coil if we can. Boom, boom, boom. Ride the lightning. Get the right side of the upgrade first. And there you go, guys. That's how you do it. That's how you beat Pandemonium, the hardest level on Veteran. Woo! We got a few guys over here, but we rain of fire them. Demolish them. They've got nothing on us. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even have to rain a fire on the boss over there. That's how you do it, guys. Count it out. Five and six. And you're going to win this one for yourself right here. Three stars on veteran. Um, anyways. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to have for you guys today. I'm probably still going to continue with my series really quick. But um, we're almost done here, guys. We only got a few more maps to go. So it's kind of exciting. Uh, here you guys go. Just so you know, we are playing on hard. It is veteran. It's, there's no, there's nothing else. It's just hard and normal or whatever. So thanks for watching. Have a super duper delicious day.